to watch for tonight? How about a game with big implications as well? Yale heading on the road to take on rival Harvard. That's right. Both teams tied at 10-2, and two, top of the Ivy League standings. Yale looking to make the big dance for the first time since, get this, 1962. Tip off for that one, 8 Eastern. And our Michelle Steele joins us live in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The Ivy League is the only D1 conference in the nation that doesn't have an end-of-the-year tournament. So explain to us exactly what's on the line tonight, Michelle. Well, Linda, this one is for virtually all of the marbles and nothing less than possession of this. This is the trophy, the Ivy League Championship trophy, as well as a trip to the NCAAs. Hang in the balance this weekend. Of course, tonight's game is going to go far for whichever team wins at this point. Harvard is about a four and a half point favorite. Remember, this is a senior class for the first time in Harvard's history, in fact, that has gone to the NCAA tournament every year that they have played. So here is what you need to know as far as how great the magnitude is of this game. Both of these teams, as you mentioned, tied atop the standing. So whoever wins, worst case scenario for that team, they will have a share of the Ivy League championship, but they need to win out over the weekend. And remember, the next game, both of these teams are favored against the opponents on Saturday. So, Linda, you don't need to have a perfect SAT score to know how great <laughs> the magnitude is of this game. Now, if these teams do manage to split the weekend's slate of games. They will play a play-in game next week in Philadelphia, a neutral site to determine who is going to the NCAAs. But a ton of excitement here in Cambridge. I got to tell you, these tickets have been sold out since November. You're right, Michelle. I understand everything you said because I don't have and never did have a perfect uh, SAT score. You've spent time with both of these teams. Oh, come on. No, we're not even <laughs> close. Uh, you spent time with both of these teams, talking to the players on Harvard, talking to the players on Yale. What are they saying about this game? Well, you know, there's a ton of history on both sides. Certainly, no shortage of motivation on either side. For Harvard, the seniors, they have a chance to really cement their legacy here and be the first Harvard senior class to have gone to, to the NCAA tournament every year that they have played. However, for Princeton, they have a lot on the line as well. A lot of people say that this is their best opportunity, in fact, to knock down Harvard, to upset Harvard, and make their first trip to the NCAA tournament since 1962. That is a very long time, but take a look at the stats. Both of these teams actually pretty evenly matched for this game. Uh, Yale, first in the Ivies as far as scoring offense. Harvard, first in the Ivies as far as scoring defense. And remember, the last time that these two teams played, it was a two-point game, really came down to a couple of free throws. And in fact, in the final seconds from senior Wesley Saunders, these games go down to the wire. And that's a great thing for college basketball fans. Four out of the last five games, Linda, between Harvard and Yale have been decided by seven points or less. So this is going to come down to the last few possessions it's got to be appointment viewing here if you're a college oh, yeah. fan. Uh, definitely, Michelle. It doesn't matter what the sport. Nothing like a rivalry game with everything at stake. Michelle Steele mm -hmm. from Cambridge. Thanks.